Hey there guys, hope you're all doing well. Got something a little bit different for you today. A friend of mine has very kindly offered to lend me his bullpup for a few weeks. This is a very popular gun at the moment, the Caliber Gun Cricket. I'm sure you've all seen it on the forums. Um, a lot of you may even own it. Um, and my plan today is to just give a short review of what I think of this gun. I've had about a week or so to play around with it. I've put hundreds of shots, maybe even thousands through through the barrel already. Um, so I've got a good idea of what I like about the gun, what I don't like. We'll go through all of that. I'll, I'll talk about um, how this gun works and how it's unique from other guns. And then there's a range behind me here, 50 meter range. Um, I'll put the scope cam on the gun. We'll do some scope cam shooting at 25 meters and then we'll push it out to 50 and see how the gun performs. Let's do it. The very first thing I noticed about this gun when I picked it up was that it definitely felt a bit heavier than I, than I expected it to. Um, I don't know, I think because it's a bullpup, you expect it to be um, you know, a compact gun, you expect it to be lighter, but in actual fact, it's just the action that's moved back. The, the gun itself is not any, any um, smaller than a, a normal um, full-length rifle. Um, but even though it was slightly heavier than I expected, once you shoulder it, because the weight is, is all the way back, um, it really doesn't feel too bad at all. It's actually easier to hold up for a long time um, than a, a full length rifle. The next thing I noticed was when I held this gun up to my face and I put my, my cheek against the breech, is that at least on, on the synthetic gun, there's nothing there to, to rest your cheek on and that makes it really, really uncomfortable. When you try and rotate the magazine, the magazine, uh, you can feel it moving against your face and it's not really nice, especially if you've got a beard like me and you get your beard hairs caught in the magazine. Um, but as far as I know, the walnut version of this gun comes with a, a, a nice wooden cheek piece here. So that'll obviously make it a bit more comfortable um, when you're resting your cheek. But again, it's not gonna be as nice as um, a full length rifle that has a stock that's, that's made to rest your cheek on, it's gonna be much more comfortable. Um, so, you know, bullpups do come with their drawbacks. The loading mechanism is butter smooth. It's a, a lever that's all the way back here. Um, and I'm used to shooting the A-arms levers, which are pretty much, I think, um, the best you can get. It's just extremely, extremely smooth and well machined. Um, and this was, this was really nice, but there's one problem, that is that it's, it's all the way back. Um, and on a, on a bullpup, you, it's almost impossible to, to aim through the scope and load at the same time, it's just way too awkward. Um, so you either have to kind of load it with this hand or you can load it with this hand, but you have to kind of move the rifle down a bit and it's, it is a bit awkward, um, but once you get used to it, I suppose, I suppose it's not that bad. Um, the obvious downside is just that you can't keep your eye on the target and load at the same time. Um, that's what I like about the, the new, um, that airgun technology Vulcan that's out and the FX Wildcat is they both have um, levers that are a bit forward. Um, on a bullpup, that's a first. Um, I'd like to see gun luck, um, guns like Ed Gun and, and Caliber Gun do the same thing because it makes a very big difference. This gun is quiet. I was quite impressed. The barrel ends somewhere around over here. There's quite a decent length of, of uh, baffles in between and they do their job quite well. This rifle at the moment is set to shoot at about 930 feet per second. That's quite hot for a 177, um, but even so, I found that um, it's quieter than my other 177 guns shooting at the same um, at the same velocity. So you know, obviously, caliber gun have done their done their homework with the the shrouds and have designed a shroud that can can do its job quite well. I don't know if the camera will pick it up in this in this echoey room, but the sound of the shot going off is really not so bad. I'll take a shot behind me here. The trigger, unfortunately, is just nowhere near as good as the, the triggers on my Air Arms and, and Daystate guns. And that's to be expected with the whole um, push rod system that comes all the way back here. But this, the owner of this gun has set the trigger really light. And once you get used to it, um, you basically just touch it and the shot goes off. So um, he's made it work for him and it, it actually doesn't feel too bad. I really like the way that this gun fills. It's, it's really simple. Um, this end cap here slides up. There's a hole that's exposed into which you slide the fill probe. And after that, you basically just open your tank full and the gun will fill by itself quite slowly. On most, on most PCP air guns, 
um, you have to always worry about overfilling the gun because they have a maximum fill pressure. Um, but this thing's maximum fill pressure is 300 bar because it's a, a regulated gun, which means that on most tanks, I don't think you even get tanks higher than 300 bar. So on most tanks, you can just open them full um, and the gun fills itself slowly. It doesn't fill quickly. Um, so you just leave it open for a minute or so, the gun will fill by itself. And when it's done filling, you just close it off, open the bleed valve, take the probe out, and you're done. There you go. When it comes to the magazine system, you either love it or you hate it. Um, there's one thing I really, really like about this magazine, is, and that is its shot capacity. You can hold 14 shots in here, um, and then you have your spaces here held by magnets for um, four spare magazines, which is really, really nice. Um, you know, you just flip one open and exchange it with the, the used magazine once you're done, and that gives you countless shots. Um, really nice when you're out shooting pigeons, for example, when there's pigeons landing all over the place and you need to reload quickly. There's no worry about having to, to refill the magazine that you've just used. Um, just take out a spare, you slot it in. Um, it's much, much better than storing spare magazines in your pocket where you can lose them quite easily. Um, this way you're guaranteed um, that they're kept safe and you can access them easily when you need to. Um, the one thing I hated about this gun is that um, when you want to take a magazine out, you firstly have to cock the gun, but then there's this little knob on the side which you have to slide all the way back in order to take the magazine out. Looks simple enough, um, but you have to have two, two hands to do this. In other words, you've got to, um, it's really awkward. You've got to put the gun on your lap or you've got to put the gun down. And in a hunting situation where you want to um, quickly change the magazine, um, you only really have one hand to do that with. So that's one thing I didn't like. Um, I suppose once you get used to it, it's not that bad. You can do it quite quickly, but um, I definitely prefer the magazines that uh, are easy to, to take out without this funny little, little knob here. I think this is a, a bit of a disappointment. As I walk down range to set up the target, I'll just take a minute to cover the finer details of the equipment I'll be using today. This is the 177 caliber with the synthetic stock, currently shooting at a muzzle velocity of 930 feet per second. I'm shooting 8.4 grain JSBs, I'm told these are the most accurate pellet in this gun. And mounted on top, we've got a Leapers AccuShot 8232x56. It's a big scope for this gun but I suppose that's only to our advantage when target shooting like this. I'll put details of my camera equipment down in the video description. Okay, so here are two groups at 25 meters. Um, this over here is the scope cam group. You can see there's uh, one flyer up top here, um, but the rest are all basically through the same hole. And then the group that I shot without the scope cam is a little bit better. Basically, all the pellets through the same hole, which was exactly what I expected from this gun, because really, um, this thing is known for its accuracy. Um, the barrel is made by, by CZ in the Czech Republic, um, and the CZ barrels are known to be um, target grade barrels, really, really good barrels. I did competition shooting when I was much younger um, with the CZ200 um, when I was still at school, and the CZ200 was known as an accurate gun, same barrel. Um, so you, that's what, this is what we can expect at 25 meters, just all the pellets through the same hole. So that's, that's good, that's what, I'm, what I was hoping for. This video has ended up being a lot longer than I expected. We're only halfway through. So we'll end this one here and I'll upload part two separately for those who want to watch the rest. I make a very interesting discovery at the 50 meter range about how even a tiny change in velocity can make a huge difference to your accuracy. I'll see you then.